there are times when you have a presentation that needs to have a video as part of it well you don't have to stop your presentation to show a video you can insert a video onto any of your slides so that your audience will have a seamless experience to insert a video on a slide this is what you have to do you have to first of all locate the slide where you want the video to be in this case I want to create a new slide I want to insert a new slide right here at this point so right click new slide so this is where I want the video to be inserted so what do I do to insert the video first of all you have to go to the insert tab and then you go ahead to the media group and click on video so that means you simply click on insert video and then PowerPoint will ask you where is your video located is it somewhere online or on your computer in this case it is located on my computer so I will click video on my computer and then I select the video and click insert so the video is inserted now when you have inserted the video you can reposition it at any point or any place on the slide and then also you can resize it to any size that meets your requirements so in this case we're going to make it this size okay so once you are satisfied with the location what you have to do is look at the options available to you what can you do with this video there's a playback tab you see this is a contextual tab that means it only appears when you select the video you see when the video is unselected they're not there so I select the video and I go to the playback tab so there are so many options there we're going to look at now let's look at the first one the first one is play this is where you want to preview or look at the video so I click on it and then it plays the video for me okay that is it and then we also have the bookmark what is the bookmark for when you're making your presentation it's possible that there are certain parts of a video that you want to skip to so how would you do that you simply create a bookmark onto those locations let's say in my presentation I want to at any point skip to this place so I click on that position and then add bookmark I click on another position add bookmark let me add the last one and add bookmark so while the video is playing I can simply click you see it takes me to those particular places okay so that is what the bookmark is for and when you don't want the bookmarks you simply click on the bookmark and go to remove bookmark you see click on it remove bookmark click on it and remove bookmark so that is the bookmark and then the next thing is trim video it's possible that you have a very long video and for your presentation you don't need the whole video so what you have to do is trim see you're going to do a little bit of video editing here you're going to trim off the parts that you don't need to do that make sure that your video is selected and then you click on trim video you see a new, new window opens and this green here it's supposed to indicate where the video should start so the video I wanted to start here and the red mark to tell me where it should stop so I don't need this side or this side so when I've decided where it is to start and when it is to stop I simply click OK and these parts will be trimmed off so I click OK and they are trimmed off when I play the video it starts from where I put my green marker and stopped at where the, green, uh, the red marker was okay so that is trim and then also we have fade in and fade out let's say video or most especially the audio when your video starts playing you don't want the sound to be at a very high volume maybe you want it to be low and progressively increase that is where you select fade in 
so it's going to fade in slowly and then also if you want it to fade out at the end of the video you know we play we stop this video somewhere in the middle with with the trim so you want it to fade out you want the sound to slowly fade out you can select this and decide how long the fade out should be and then it will fade out very slowly okay the next thing is the volume this is the volume okay you decide the volume of your video at the time of presentation you make it mute or put it on high medium or low it depends on what exactly you want and then also you have full screen play full screen that means if at the time or when at the time you're making your presentation you want the video to take over the screen let's take a look let's make it full screen and then let us make the sli presentation slideshow from current slide so during the presentation this is what will happen when you select full screen when it starts playing you see it, it takes over the entire screen okay then also when you select um no full screen and then you start your presentation this is what is going to happen you see it's going to play on a small window so it depends on exactly what you want it's also possible that you want to put some text here okay you want to put some text here. let's put a little text there I'm going to copy this text okay let's right click and copy it and send it down there so I'm going to right click and paste okay so this is just in case you also want some text as part of the slide alongside with your video and you can decide this text box I want to right click and then fill it I want to fill it with black or yeah we we'll fill it with with this color and then I can also make the outline to be yellow if I wish to okay so you can have this as part of your slide you have the video and some text explaining things just beside it and then also we have you see that the play back tab is gone because I've not selected the video so I select the video play back and then you have on click that means when you are making your presentation and you get to the slide do you want the video to start playing automatically or you want it to wait till you click play okay let's for instance make it automatically and see what happens slideshow okay let's make it slideshow from the current slide so let's see let's jump to that slide you see it starts playing immediately okay that is when you select automatically now let's see here playback options I want it to only play when I click the play button so slideshow from current slide so you see it, it doesn't play so you are kind of more in control in this situation so it will only play when you click this okay so now I want to hear from you what do you think do you think you would like your video in your presentation to start playing automatically or you want it to play only when you choose to please type in the comment section there I want to know what you think about these two options do you want it to play automatically or you should decide exactly when it should play so please type your comments let's hear what you have to say about that okay so that is the playback options and then you also have this loop until stopped maybe you don't want the video to stop you select this option and then it will keep repeating 
it will keep repeating until you decide to click on the stop button okay if you select rewind after play that means it will not repeat it will simply finish playing and then go to the rest state. that means it's not playing it will play only once if you click on or you select loop until stopped it'll play repeatedly okay so now that we are through with the playback tab there is another contextual tab here this also is normally not there it only appears when you click an object that needs it so if i unselect the video it's not there okay so i select it and it comes so what do we do with the contextual tab this format tab well there is poster frame okay this poster frame that is when your video is not playing the thumbnail or the picture that should display there you can decide on which picture you want to display there so let's see what we can do with that you click on the poster frame and image from file well we are not working online so I click offline and then we select a picture and click insert so when you're making your presentation and you've not played the video yet this picture is what will be displayed okay until you decide to play the video and then the video actually comes you know so if you are not playing it this is what happens you have a picture you could use that to display some other extra information that you want your audience to see okay so now there is also another set of options here you can see under the format tab you have the video styles group and then you can decide to pick on a circle you see pick on different shapes you can decide to just slant it a little bit okay so when you play this high is going to be plain or oh, let's just make it um, this way yeah and it's going to be that shape you could select from any of the options that you have there okay just to make a little difference okay well if this video was helpful to you please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click on the subscribe button when you subscribe you get to see more videos from me till we meet again bye for now